on the latest edition of the AV Files, allow us to be fanciful. Allow us to dream big. Allow us to imagine the best case scenario for Shohei Otani. Close your eyes and allow us to think big. That's right, Otani's numbers already are big. You can imagine channeling glorious Swanson Sunset Boulevard. I am big. It's the pictures that got small. Otani leads the majors in homers, total bases, and OPS at the plate, while his 185 opponents average on the mound is the best in baseball. The Angels are now three and a half games out of that final wildcard spot, but imagine if the stars align. The Boston Red Sox offense cools off. Even the titanic Aaron Judge isn't the magic elixir to vault the New York Yankees into the playoffs. Alec Manoa's struggles continue, along with Dalton Varsho's offense, and the Jays just miss out. The Houston Astros starting pitching can't get healthy. The Tampa Bay Rays July swoon continues into a full on landslide. The Angels may have the third hardest remaining schedule in the AL but it is easier than two of those teams I just mentioned in the Yankees and the Rays. I know not all of these scenarios are going to happen but a few of those could happen and we've never seen a supernova like Otani. Not to mention a through a certain three time MVP named Mike Trout who will be the greatest addition imaginable when he returns. Moniak is batting 373 with an on base of 400 and a slugging percentage of 567 with 14 RBI and 10 runs scored during the streak. And Luis Ranjifo is slugging 660, five homers, nine RBI in his last 16 games. Not to mention Lucas Giolito now coming over from the Chicago White Sox to bolster the rotation with Patrick Sandoval, who has been effective lately. We've seen unlikely runs come October before, from the Miracle Mets to Rocktober to the Philadelphia Phillies at 87 wins, going all the way to the Fall Classic last year. It's improbable, but not impossible. So maybe, just maybe, by keeping Otani, the baseball gods will be heavenly towards the Halos. Well, it's time now for StatCast, powered by Google Cloud. Take a closer look at Otani. His highest average four-seam fastball velocity in the ninth inning. So this is since the start of 2015, proving that he still had That's plenty left in the gas. Nine. Yeah, exactly. That hasn't really happened that often. <laughs> this was his first ever shutout. And you see Garrett Cole a couple years ago, Severino, Matt Harvey. Otani still had that giddy-up, 97 miles an hour in the ninth inning.